What's going on guys? So today we're making a DEX. Now this is a larger build, so it's something I've never really done before. It's gonna have integrated technology. Hey. Hey, what's up? You recording a YouTube vid? Yeah, did you want to help? I mean, yeah. Okay, did you want to use my camera myself? Uh, actually, on second thought, I think I'm gonna use mine. Oh, okay. All right, let's go. So, is this your recording studio? Yeah, I mean, isn't it nice? I mean, it kind of works. Uh, do you think you could help spice it up? You mean like this? What's going on, guys? Uh, this is my friend David here. Hey, what's up? And he approached me. He wanted me to make a desk, which is something I've never built before. So I'm actually the owner and creator of Exposure Studios, a video production company, which I use my videography and filming skills in order to produce high quality videos. So when I heard that TJ had a YouTube channel, I just I just had to work with him. Yeah, and so when he approached me with the idea to make a video, I couldn't say no. So he was a creative producer and editor of this video that you guys see here at this desk. So without further ado, enjoy the video. Better watch to the end. Okay, the first step in the process was to measure out all the legs and face frame for the desk. After cutting out all the frames, I needed to drill pocket holes in order to assemble my front and rear face frame. This included using a pocket hole jig along with the face clamp to drill my pocket holes into the face of the wood. After drilling up all my pocket holes, I then began assembling the frames. I started with the two end pieces and assembled those so that I could measure for my plywood panel. Once I assembled the two end face frames, I then began assembling the front and rear face frame. I then began assembling the front and rear face frames to those two end ones simultaneously in order to prevent racking and also to make sure that the frame isn't wobbly with one side not supported. Once I had all the face frames assembled, it was now time to cut all the plywood pieces to make panels. I had to cut two plywood pieces for each end of the desk. I also cut out the plywood for the drawers themselves. However, I did not assemble the drawers until a later date. After assembling the desk, it was then time to start priming the desk. So first, I put on two coats of primer and sand it between each coats in order to get a nice fine finish. This ended up taking a lot of time as the desk had some intricate parts that I needed to sand in order for the finish to come out smooth. The plywood definitely soaked up a lot more of the primer than the pine. After the primer, it was then time to paint. I put on a total of three coats of paint and I left an hour in between each coat in order for it to properly dry. After waiting a couple days, I realized that the face of the cabinet still was a little bit rough, so I lightly sanded the face of the cabinet before brushing on a final coat, which ultimately gave it the most smooth finish that I could get out of the paint. During the whole process of building the desk, I had the tabletop glued up and drying in the background. After the client picked the stain, I then stained the tabletop and let it rest. Then it was time for the lacquer finish. I sprayed about four coats of lacquer, the first three within five minutes of each other, and then I waited a half hour before finally spraying the final coat. That needed to off gas for about a day before I could attach it to the desk and deliver it to the client.
thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like the cinematic view of this video, check out David over at Exposure Studios, a video production company, either linked up here or down below. If you like this project, make sure to comment down below to tell us what other projects we should undertake together. If you like the woodworking in this episode, go check out go check out the woodshed on Instagram, Facebook, and on the YouTube channel you're watching right now. If you guys like build videos, I have plenty of those listed as well as product reviews. If you guys have any other ideas you want me to build or review, comment down below in the, in the comment section. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you guys would like to, and turn on post notifications to get future videos in your inbox. And don't forget to subscribe at Exposure Studios, a video production company. Thank you for watching. That's it. I think that's good. I said, um, I think one time, but I don't care. Do you want to do a safety? Nope. <laughs> We're good. And you know what? That's okay. We're good. I think that's it. I don't know if we're going to get through again.